Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie from Scrap Doll 7 Creations, and today I'm coming to share a few gingerbread um, makes that I worked on um, actually since this morning. Um, <clears throat> I, I had the day off from work. Um, they gave us um, today off um, for the you know holiday weekend, and you know I have Labor Day off on Monday, and then. Um, I go back on Tuesday for another um, day of, um, it's just working in our classrooms because Wednesday is when the kids come in. <laughs> so I took advantage of the day today and did some crafting because <laughs> um, there's, you know, when school starts, it's going to be, you know, limited to probably just Saturdays. <laughs> so I'm trying to get as much done as I can. Um, but anyway, I am... Um, I worked on these gingerbread cuties today. Um, let me uh, start by uh, telling you about the gingerbreads. So these little, they're wooden gingerbreads. They're, wo they're wood, okay. Um, yeah, and um, you know, they're, you know, they're thin, you know, they're not that thick, but they're, um, you know, they're pretty nice to work with. I got them from Amazon. Um, I had just typed in, um, you know, wooden, you know, wood gingerbread, um, and, uh, these popped up and, uh, let's see, they're about, let's see if I can get my ruler here. Um, let's see here. So they're about... Um, let's see, eight, nine, they're not quite 10 inches tall. Um, they're like maybe nine and a half. Yeah, about nine and a half. And then they're about seven, um. I don't know, like seven and a half inches wide. So, yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, so I'm, um, the first one I made was this sign, actually. Um, uh, well, let me, let me just tell you about the things I used to, to make them. So, for the uh, color of the gingerbread, I used the Folk Art uh, Cinnamon Paint. Um, and I don't have the bottle here because I pretty much used it up to paint all these guys. <laughs> okay. Um, I made five of them. Um, they came five in a package. So I made two couples and then I had an extra one that I made the sign. Okay. Um, so I used that. I used um, some laces from my stash that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. Uh, buttons. Um, I also used... Um, the uh, Pasca paint markers, mostly the white um, to do the, you know, like the stitching on the gingerbreads. Uh, but I used some of the other colors too. I used red and um, blue for, the, for one of the eyes and pink for the cheeks. So I used these paint markers that I got in at Hobby Lobby. Okay. Um, and yeah, just some, uh, just some other, you know, doodads from my stash. Um, these bows that they're wearing, I had gotten from a seller on, I believe Etsy. Yes, a seller on Etsy. I had just typed in, you know, bows, <laughs> big bows or large bows. Um, and, uh, well, hold on. Let me see if I can get the, um, let me see if I can get the box that they came in. It was really, they were really nicely packaged. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. All right. So. All right. Oops, sorry, guys. Okay. So. They came in these these nice boxes. Each set of bows came in this box, um, made with love. And uh, 
the name on it. Um, you know, it just says a moody on it. But anyway, <laughs> I got the bows from here. Okay. Um, and then for the faces, I use the Peachy Keen um, um, Jill's Bigger Favorites PK3010. Okay, and these are the bigger face stamps. Okay, so I actually used, I used this one, and then I used this one down here, okay, to make the faces. Okay, so I used that, um, and then I just used some, um, for the sign, I used some paper, some gingham paper I had in my stash, and some laces. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so here's the sign. And uh, the Very Merry Holly Jolly Christmas I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see. Yeah, these, see these little wooden signs. And I just painted it up with my um, folk art um, home decor chalk. Okay, this is so this is chalk paint. And again, I had gotten that at either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And so I just, um, this was a Dollar Tree sign that I had gotten. It was from the summertime. And I just took, you know, some of that red gingham paper and I just put it on top of it. Okay. Now, I don't have anything. My plan was to hang this. Um but I didn't do anything to the back. I, you know, I'll probably glue a button and uh, put some lace there. Um, but uh, yeah, so then I just, like I said, I just colored her up with those paint markers for, with the face, add a little uh, piece of lace for her little collar there. Um, and again, took that white paint marker just kind of went around to make the little stitching. Um, had this little gathered uh, gingham lace from Hobby Lobby, and I just put uh, some velvet trim on top of it and added a button. Okay, and then for the sign, I just added some of that white lace um, all the way around. So, yeah. So that's my sign. Okay. So let me uh, take this out of here. So yeah, so I had five of these gingerbreads. The rest of the gingerbreads, I made little, just little gingerbreads. Um, so, all right. So I made two red ones and two pink ones. <laughs> okay. So let me uh, move these guys down a little bit. Okay, so you can see these little pink guys. Okay, so for the pink ones, again, I just took those um, Posco paint markers. And again, I had gotten those from um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, and where did I put those now? Oh my gosh, my desk is a disaster here. Oh, here they are. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had used these Posco paint markers. Okay. Yeah, and I just uh, outlined the uh, face with the, the white paint marker. Uh, and again, stamped the face with the peachy keen with my uh, black tuxedo ink, memento ink. <laughs> okay. For the cheeks, I used this little, um, you guys had seen me use this before, this little circle trace thing. This is from Artist Loft, Artist Loft from Michaels. And I just use one of the circles to um, make the cheeks. Oops, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, and then I just took some little, some tiny little flowers from my stash and used them as, like, buttons. Okay, and then here's the girl. So I just popped a bow on her head. <laughs> Those bows are, I really like these bows. They're really nice for some of these big, bigger, um, gingerbreads. Uh, and then for her skirt, I used some of this lace. Um, again, I had gotten this from Hobby Lobby. 
So I have this real pretty pink, very pale pink um, lace. And then just added some uh, pale pink ribbon for the little sash and added these flowers. Okay, so there's couple number one. <laughs> and then couple number two is all in red. Okay, so and I basically I just did the same thing with the paint markers. Um, you know, for him, I added these little red buttons that I had. Um, in my stash. And again, I dressed the girl just, you know, very similar to the, uh, the pink girl. Okay. I had this gingham, um, ruffled trim. And then I just took some of this, um, red, um, ribbon that I had for like the sash and added the buttons. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they were fun to make. Um, they, I mean, it took a while because at first I had to paint all of them, all five of them, and wait for them to dry. Um, you know, and I did, I did them all front and back. Um, so like for the the red gingers, um, they're okay. They have um some pattern paper on the back because I didn't want to leave them just brown on the back. I figured I'd dress up the back a little bit. Um, and then he's got just red, plain red paper. Cause I didn't have another one of those, um, striped that she has. And then for the, the pink ones, um, I just use some of this pink, um, paper for both of them. They both have it. Oh, and I also used the Tim Holtz uh, Vintage Photo, and I went around the edges of all the gingerbreads with this. And then for um, the, the pink gingerbreads, on the back, I went over with this um, Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide um, to uh, add a little, just add a little pink shading around the back there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So those are my, uh, my, uh, shares for this week's Saturday morning makes. Um, I might come back, um, late, a little later this weekend with some other things. Um, cause I'm, you know, trying to, again, make some things for, um, if I get to be in a, uh, Christmas craft fair, I want to have some things ready to go because, um, you know, I got to start, you know, if I'm going to be doing it, I have to have things to sell. <laughs> so, and if I don't, you know, they'll make nice gifts, but I got to start working on it. Hopefully I'll learn, I'll know by, um, the first week in September, whether there are any open spots, um, for the craft show I signed up for. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> so... But yeah, so that's my uh, share for, for today. And uh, I will uh, check back with you guys a little bit later this weekend. And uh, tell me what you think. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, I, you know, I love having new followers. It's so much fun. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.